Why I Am a Teacher by Charles Edgar Hampton, EDS, founder of www.myonlinetutor.biz. A highly intelligent friend of mine verified not only her genius, but also her humanity and curiosity by being humble and seeking help after being confronted by a confounding puzzle. She saw the infamous picture of the old way of subtraction contrasted against the new way of subtraction, which has now been labeled as Common Core. Rather than bandwagon and condemn Common Core as foolishness and crockery the way thousands of others have, she turned instead to a quote expert like myself a certified math teacher and asked me to explain what she saw. At first glance, hasty generalization, I too thought that the method was indeed crazy, but after a little analysis I saw what took place and I was amazed. I wanted to take the time to share my explanation with her and everyone because to see my explanation is to realize why teaching is not only difficult, requiring patience, insight, and uncanny critical thinking skills, but is bar none the most rewarding profession one could ever practice. Starting off with 32 minus 12, some kids will freeze up. So first thing they need to do, or will do, is they'll realize, hey, basically what I'm trying to find out is how many does it take to go from 12 to 32. So what they do is they start at 12 and let's say they add 3. The purpose of adding 3 is to get to 15, a multiple of 5. Most people know there are 5 times tables, the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on, and that's what they do. So once you get to 15, now you're using numbers that you can count on your hands with because that's why they like fives and tens. You'll see that those are used. Look at your hands and then unless you've had some accident then you should have four fingers on a hand and then a thumb. So anyway you put that all together you've got ten with both hands that is. Once you've got twenty then just go from twenty to thirty by adding ten. Again that's just another flash of your fingers and thumbs. What Common Core is about, or what a teacher should realize in looking at this, isn't so much did the kid do it the way I told them to, the way I wanted them to, the way I dictated it to them, but does the kid understand the principle behind what 32 minus 12 means? It means how many numbers are in between 12 and 32. Once you've done all that as far as the 12 plus 3 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30, then what they'll do at the end is add those numbers together that they added to the problem. In other words, the original number of 12 is still there. The 3, 5, 10, and 2 were added later on. So if you add 3 and 5 and you get 8, and then you add 10 plus 2 to get 12, then you add the 8 and the 12 together, you get 20. As a teacher, it's always important that you allow for alternate routes to the same destination. Imagine how stupid you would look if you let your family starve to death because your favorite grocery store closed down. Just because you live in a box doesn't mean you have to box in others. Respect people's differences be nice and kind to those who are looked down upon and who may not behave or look or think the same way you do for usually they are the difference makers this is charles edgar hampton founder of www.myonlinetutor.biz peace blessings and patience with one another. Visit us so we can learn and grow together. God bless. Goodbye.